Hello everybody, it's Foxy speaking and uh, welcome to another episode of Foxy's Fun Inspirational Chats. And today I will be your host. And in this episode, this is an episode, a new episode of Robert the Cat. Robert the Cat, who is not, one could not quite say recovering from uh, his newfound fame for being featured in a newspaper, but he's beginning, but was walking into a new lease of life of fame. Not only just fame for himself, but how his owners were going to take to it, you know, or how his owners were going to contemplate the very fame he'd achieved for himself for sneaking on board a railway tr a train that went all the way to London, Victoria from Preston Park, you know. And in another way, why Robert, the cat, still had to come to terms with his newfound fame was because um, his owners were due to be interviewed by the BBC Radio, or, or either the BBC Radio or any independently owned radio programme which could be broadcast on radio talking about Robert the cat and how they feel about his newfound fame and that sort of thing. It made Robert himself quite curious in various ways or another. Oof, wonder what my owners will have to say about me, seeing that I've made quite quite the fame and the name for myself, Robert thought in curiosity. Robert the, Robert the cat's owners put on their coats and walked out of the door and said, Goodbye, Robert. Be good and, and keep safe and well. They said, and, and after they said their greet, said the very sentiment towards Robert the Cat himself. The door closed, the front door closed, and off they went out to get to the, to the radio station for their very interview they'd been invited to partake in. Robert the Cat, once he saw his owners walk away, walked through his cat flap, walked through his garden, through his hedge, and near the railway line to do a little bit of chain spotting. Robert always loved to see the trains go by. He had not planned a big adventure for today, which was sneaking away from Preston Park, so instead he decided to, to go to his train spotting um, spot and watch the trains go by along the London to Brighton main line. The trains whiz and whoosh passed along the main line as it was at a speed where they could, it was at a location where they could be allowed to accelerate and pick up speed and that sort of thing. And as Robert was watching some trains, one of his cat friends arrived. A slim, slender, and reasonably small grey cat came over to him. But Robert recognised who he was. Hello there, Headley, Buster said. Nice to see you. The grey, slender cat Headley looked to him and was like, Oh, hello there. Robert, Hedley said, it's nice to see you. It's nice to see you too, Hedley, Robert the cat said. Let's watch a little bit of trains together, shall we? Righty-ho, Hedley said, when, uh, when acknowledging Robert's recommendation, though he knew he didn't have to watch the trains if he didn't want to, but he decided to watch some trains with Ro his friend Robert instead. Though he was happy to see Robert the Cat, he could tell there was something on Robert the Cat's very mind. Oh, Robert, Hedley said. Robert, not responding, just looked, to, just looked solemnly towards Hedley. Is there something on your mind? Robert the Cat momentarily closed his eyes, still pulling a face of a little frown. Then he slowly opened his eyes again and said, Well, Hedley, 
I've received fame, he responded, and my owners are being interviewed by a radio station. And so I'm a little bit nervous about this thing, and it's hard to come to terms with. Headley didn't know what to say or what to think, but he tried to say something that would try and cheer up Robert a little bit. Fame is around, Headley said, but I don't know it enough to say much about it. But try and enjoy the trains that go by. There seem to be a lot going on today. Robert the Cat felt deep down slightly frustrated that his friend could not understand the full concept of what fame is like and what is fame, since they were only cats and they could not completely contemplate and understand to what being famous or fame really is in the way a human could. But, but it, it was... But when Headley mentioned that there were a lot of trains going by, or as it so seemed, it was enough to help cheer Robert up to some extent and get back to his tra chain spotting. The time passed as Robert and Headley sat beside the train spotting location watching the trains until before long. I think I'm going to go back home now, Headley said. Goodbye, Robert. And then he walked over to Robert and put his head against Robert's head and then gave him a little lick on his cheek and then walked steadily away from the friendly black cat and said I'll see you another time Robert hope we can meet again soon and not leave it so long next time Hedley said oh yes yes okay Hedley Robert said we will definitely not leave it too long next time and once I've had my had my adventure, my next set round of adventures, we will meet again, Robert said. Righty ho, Headley said, <coughs> and so the slender grey cat walked away until he was nearly ushered out into the distance and out of sight. Robert, now on his own, continued the train spotting on his own. But after about an hour or two hours later, he decided, right, I think it's time to go back home now and see my owners and, and see if they've come home yet. And so the black cat got himself on his own four legs after sitting down and fairly wearily walked away back to his owner's home. Walking through the hedge, and through his home garden, and through the cat flat, Robert, walking into the living room, saw his two owners sitting on the sofa, smiling and beaming towards him. You, Robert, are our famous cat now, his owner said happily. The interview went well, and it's just about to air on the radio right now. You're just in time to hear our interview on the radio. And so Robert got on the the sofa and snuggled up next to his owner which was the wife and once Robert was comfortably snuggled beside his owner his owner put on the, the radio and then the radio interview of Robert the cat's owners talking about their cat Robert began <coughs> Robert the cat Though listening to the interview, closed his eyes, though he could hear everything at the same time, and though he may have closed his eyes, he was still listening to what everything was being said about him on the interview his owners had talking about him. After a roughly half an hour duration, the, interview, the radio interview was over, and Robert opened his eyes, and his owner began stroking him on the forehead and then gave him a kiss on his head and said, and looking directly to his face, holding his two cheeks, his owner lovingly said, You are now our famous cat, Robert. We're so proud of you. Had it not been for your for your um, inadvertent trip to London on the train, 
we, you probably wouldn't be the famous cat you are now. Robert didn't know what to think, but he could understand that his owner was saying something quite positive and good. Before long it was Robert the cat's supper time, and then his owners had their supper too. They watched some evening television and some evening television programs. And once that was all over, it was time for them to go to bed. Their owners got into their pyjamas, brushed their teeth, and got into bed, and Robert the cat jumped up onto their bed, curled up, and slept soundly on his owner's bed fast asleep. The End Well, yes, this is certainly another Robert the Cat episode. Maybe not quite the most adventurous Robert the Cat episode, but in a way, I thought it would be interesting to do this Robert the Cat episode. But not to worry, there will definitely be many more big future adventures for Robert the Cat himself, rest assured. And that is, I'm namely saying this in referral to to my friends, the lovely Mary and Glen Ipock, as I know they very much relish the thrill in whatever big adventures Robert the Cat himself has, and to Graham and Fiona, as I know they too take a big interest in Robert the Cat's adventures as well. Thanks all for watching, and I shall certainly see you in the very next video. video. Ta ta, another time. From Foxy. <laughs> and if I dare might point out another thing, it's also the third anniversary of the Foxy's Fun Inspirational Chats series. Because on this day, 25th November of 2020, being three years ago, and now 25th November 2023, it's been three years since the very first episode, and for those of you who want to see the whole, the series from the start, um, I will link the playlist. Thanks for watching, everybody, and ta-ta another time. From Foxy. <laughs> uh -huh.